Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Esports Report, presented by the Xbox One. Benson joined by Max. As we go through uh, all of today's action now in the Pro League, we're going to start with up-to-date standings going into this evening. Where are all the teams currently sitting in the Pro League? Uh, no surprise, really, teams at the top. Where we expect them, up to gaming, 6-0 and oh still to get a loss. To now, 6-1. Uh, phase four and two, Nation four and two surprisingly in fourth place. Team MB four and three, and TK in third. Uh, sorry, in sixth place with a three and four record. A denial really coming out and impressing more people, Max. I know at the start when that roster change was made, people didn't really have a lot of faith in them. Um, yeah, I would say so. I mean, I think they kind of ironed out their roles a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. having three players who can all run an AR at the same time right. was kind of rough. Figuring out who's going to really run the sub for that team. Um, but so far, 6-1. and one, Can't really complain. They're doing pretty well. Can't complain at all. Nope. And then uh, the bottom side of the standings. Team Orbit in 7th place, 3-4. and four. Uh, Elevate in 8th for now, 2-3. and three. TCM joined them with the same record, but just a uh, slightly less uh, one map, I believe, in game the loss ratio. Win oh, that sucks. Yeah, literally one map. <laughs> that's that's brutal. And uh, then we get down to the very bottom of the Pro League. Isolation 2-4. and four. Rise Nation 1-5. and five. And Epsilon currently sitting on that lovely goose egg, 0-6. Oh, the big question on a lot of people's minds is, are they going to James Bond? Well, guess so. what? We'll find out later this evening. Let's take a look at today's schedule. Uh, action kicks off with Epsilon North America versus FaZe Clan. Will we see the 007 start from Epsilon? <laughs> Has to be done. Um, gonna be really tough. One of their hardest matchups so far. Oh, it, for me, this so is a guaranteed loss. Pretty much. Yep, I hate to be brutal. Uh, then you'll notice the schedule today has changed. It's no longer 6 till 7, 7 till 8, and 8 till 9. At 10 past 7, yes, 7 10 p.m. Eastern, TK will go up against Team Envious. That should be a thrilling game. At 8 20 p.m. Eastern, Team Orbit play Team Elevate. And at 9 30, Isolation play Optic Nation. Now, it's worth mentioning we have Xbox Ones to give away to the wonderful people. That giveaway should be during the TK versus Team Envious matchup. So stay tuned for that later on in the day. Find out how you could potentially win an Xbox One. Yep. Pretty cool giveaway. Just saying. Pretty cool. Pretty cool giveaway. Uh, but let's talk, Max, about Epsilon. When will Epsilon finally get a win? Not tonight. It's going to be really tough. FaZe looks so good. Over the past weekend, they won the Scuff 10K without dropping a single map. Absolutely dominant Pretty good. over Elevate uh, in the finals. They're going 3-0. I mean, their weakness is Uplink, which is the same as Epsilon. So that's good. Right. Um, but I mean, when you have like top five players like Zuma, arguably right now, Kleister, top two, Bal. Enable has looked so consistent. He's got so he's got so bad, like so much better. I feel like yeah. people haven't given him enough props because I feel like people still have that stigma of when he was playing for up to gaming abroad. Oh, you know, he's going to drop a 0 0.8 and they'll just kind of cruise through. I'll get carried, I'll get carried. No, man, he yeah. has stepped up his game to another level right now. And that face squad, as you mentioned, look so, so scary. Yep. Epson, of course, in dire need of a win. 0 and 6, basically an 0 and 12 from previous seasons. Right. I mean, they need to get some wins and they need to do it now. Yeah, I mean, if they don't, like I said, they go James Bond. That's just like, wow. I, I, I don't want to say it because there's so many games left. Right. But I feel like that's essentially your season done. I mean, like, so we we looked at it at the very, very beginning. Right. Week number two, I believe it was. Teams who'd started slow. And there was one exception to a team who'd started off very slow in the Pro League. I think it was like an 0-4 start was TK. Right. And actually managed to do something. They got got into the top eight and then a place, I think it was third. Third, third, third at season finals. Yep. So... You're playing against the odds. Right. And they're just continuously stacking the odds against them, I feel. I mean, you think about it, they got 16 games left, right? If they were to, you know, win loss for like the next 16 mm -hmm. matches, they end up going eight and like 14. That's not getting you into the no. three championships at all. So, like you said, they got to start winning now. I mean, take a look at the next five after phase because okay. this is really tough. It's really easy just to write Choke this, this off. Choke this up as a loss. Right. Um, they go to TCM. That's going to be tough. I mean, like, TCM is one of like, their easier matchups coming up. But TCM with host? Right. That's what's tough. I mean, if you give, you you get know, Moose. give Moose host. I mean, it doesn't matter. Moose holds you, right? Yeah, you bat right. one of them, it doesn't matter. You're probably going to end up batting Aix in that series just to make sure he doesn't go off with a pal. Exactly. And then they go to OG. That's <laughs> even tougher than FaZe. So, all right. So, so it's going from 0-7, potentially 0-8, most likely 0-9. Their home versus TK. That's Hallelujah! <laughs> what a nine to start the Pro League. That's their most winnable match coming up in the next, like, In six. the next five... Oh my Next god, six. then they play Elevate? They're at Elevate, and they're at Envy. I mean, if they end up going 0-12, <laughs> that would be absolutely insane. Absol that'd be 0-24 in past <laughs> seasons. 
That'd be absolutely nuts. Does it happen? No, I think they beat TK, and they might beat TCM. Maven, our lovely friend Maven over in the LA offices, has uh, said he's picking Epsilon in every match until they win. So after they win, he's going to predict, predict them to lose. Uh, at what that. point do we talk about them potentially... I don't even going want to say it. 0 and 22? I don't There's want, no I, way. I'm not going to say If they go 0 and 22, we'll eat lemons. I, I think at that point, they should just be banned from the Pro League. Wow. If you if you can go 0 and wow. 22, like, that's impressive. That's like a Mr. X comment. That's harsh. Uh, it is. Brutal. But the next five games, definitely not pretty. Nope. Uh, starts with FaZe this evening at 6 p.m. Uh, then 7-10, TK go up against Team Envious. Now, TK, with a little bit of momentum right now. Can they keep it going in your mind, or is this one Envy can potentially take with ease? This is a tough matchup, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. Envy's kind of on that cusp of the top four. You know, only we have one loss in the column next to Optic Nation, who's four and two compared to four and three for Envy. Um, but TK, they're on two match win streaks so far. Okay. Sitting at three and four. They're trying to build some momentum. You know, always had to qualify really in the last couple matches. Of Every the last single season. time, it seems. It always goes down to the Y with these guys. They're trying to avoid that, really, this season. I mean, they've tried to really avoid that for like the entire radio of AW. Yep. But interesting, you know, Looney facing off against his former team, maybe some old yeah. rivalries there, really want to take this one, show off, you know, hey. I mean, he's basically become the face of Envious now. Oh, pretty much, yeah. So, so. Uh, it's going to be a big, big rivalry between them. Uh, TK really gave him his first big team opportunity, too. So right. he's kind of going back to where he started his roots, essentially. Yep. But I'm excited for this match. I really am. I think Envy take it, though. I think Octane too strong. Right. Uh, TK... Probably gonna lose this one. I'd be surprised if, if they came out with a win. Same TK story, really. If you can steal it, if you can steal a respawn, you, 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 you got should the be two good. S and Ds. So, right. but yeah. then you look at how strong Envy's been in uplink, so you can cancel that straight out. And then really hard points it's like it's like Octane and Aqua, like mm. nameless, for, nameless. I think like host, hosting is gonna be a really big deal. Uh, yeah. in terms of that match to see if TK can potentially take that to a game five. Right. Wouldn't be surprised, but it does depend on who hosts what. Right. Uh, moving on in the evening at twenty past eight Eastern. Uh, we have another game, Team Orbit going up against Team Elevate. Now, big question on a lot of people's mind is really how strong is Orbit's respawn right now? Is it strong? I mean, we saw them take that one game against Optic, but that was Facento's host. He went absolutely off. 54, and then four, I think it was, he dropped? Something like that. But then, I mean, then they lost the next S&D within like four minutes. 6 0. Yeah. And got absolutely, uh, just completely wrecked. But Elevate, two and three. Mm -hmm. um, last week we did our power rankings. They were the only team in the bottom four that we considered in our top eight overall teams, just because that two and three record really isn't a good display of how strong that team actually is. Okay. TJ Saints, Slacked, and Classic look so strong, in my opinion. Um, in pool play at UMG Dallas, they look too strong in bracket play after losing you know, their first two matches. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, they went flawless in the pool of death. That was a big sign for how strong this team is uh, for me. But, okay. I mean, I mean, they seem to be clicking much better with TJ. Oh, uh, he's been one of the better players in season three, like we talked about the, earlier. The 10K on. was absolutely nuts. He clutched a 1v4 on his birthday to send them to the finals. On his birthday? Yeah, on his birthday. That's like the best. Right. That's like the best birthday present you can get. I mean, I could definitely think of something better, but it's up there. I mean, in terms of competitive card birthday gifts. Okay, pretty good. Okay, pretty good. That, that, that's interesting that you mentioned that. I'll take getting 1v4 a couple of times. Couple now. of times. Couple of times. Havoc. Crim six probably going to be getting a little bit angry about that. Yep. Uh, but talk about orbit. I mean, who really needs to step up and respawn? Because we saw, you know, Burns leading in hard point caps. Doesn't really tell you that much. You want to see the defense like you pointed out. Right. But what needs to happen for them to start picking up these respawns? Um, Happy's really been a staple for this team. He always has played well so far mm -hmm. uh, in season three. Accuracy, Burns, and Facento. I mean, you can all say, hey, really, they all need to step up a little bit. But if I had to pick really one player to kind of, like, be the X factor for this team okay. out of those three players, I'm going to say Facento. Just because, you know, even looking at champs, you know, he really was an X Factor for Revenge, getting all the way to the finals where they ended up losing to Denial. But, I mean, really the goal for this team is really just to split the first two maps. If they end up, you know, going, they take the first hardpoint and they lose the S&D, or they lose the hardpoint to the S&D. Just split them. Just split them. Just, like, okay. just try to get to game five. Just try to, like... <laughs> and then pray. Right. Try to get to game five and then pray. But, right. well, um, uh, tough we'll matchup. see if they can do that. Tough yeah, matchup. very, very tough matchup for them. And then uh, the final game of the evening at 9.30, Optic Nation go up against ISO. I mean, ISO needs to figure out their roster, first of all. I think that's that's number one on the the agenda for them. Who really knows what's going on? Honestly, I look at this, I think this is an easy win for Optic Nation. I think they've kind of been blessed with ISO having issues right. that they can propel themselves even further up the leaderboard. Uh, yeah, I would say so. And this is a very nice matchup for Owen. You know, potentially going 5-2. and two, That's, one of the that's best. amazing. That's like the best start they've ever had in Pro League history. Compare that to that 10-4 and four start for Ooh. like Season 1 and 2. Um, but yeah, like the story, like story said, is really just ISO needs to figure out their roster. 
Mm -hmm. You know, no Parasite. You know, we said, oh, hey, Llama God's going to miss, like, the next, I believe, month of matches, I, I believe he wow. said. Um, so picking up Parasite, who just left E6 after UMG Dallas, was huge. I mean, Parasite and Dito played together on Ghost before. Mm -hmm. They were on uh, Phase together. That didn't quite work out. Dito ended up leaving for Evil, uh, Evil Geniuses. But in terms of like that, was like, oh, wow, that's a huge pickup for them. Like, there's got to be some chemistry. Oh, maybe they can turn the season around. Right, exactly. Or, like, you know, they've, they've shown lasted signs. lasted two whole yeah. days, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. They showed signs two of, days. like, of ISO in general with Lama God looking really well. And they placed top eight with a sub. Mm -hmm. So, you know, going to Lakefield, who they played with, they got 3 0 by the boys in blue. B. Nelson. I mean, I mean who's, who's the better fit? Lakefield or B. Nelson right now? I'd say the better fit is just figure out stuff with Parasite. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, just try to figure stuff out. Like, he's such a talented player, but we talked about it just like so many times. Like, when he joins a team, he has a way of he, how he wants the, the team to play. You know, when something's wrong, he, he wants to be the one to know how to fix it and mm -hmm. what people should do. Um, you know, there were issues like he was saying, like, your know, teammates weren't calling out mid-game. You know, they weren't really caring about scrims. Parasite's a player who's like, yo, we're scrimming, we got matches, we're playing tourneys, we're doing the 5K, the 10K, everything. So maybe that annoyed him a little bit. They weren't really about to grind as much as, you know, he would like them to be. Mm -hmm. But that was, in my opinion, it would have been a huge pickup for that team if they were to stay together. It would have been massive for them, but ISO uh, definitely need to sort themselves out, that's for sure, because Rusted Troubles is not going to make their run in the season any easier. Um, we should actually go straight into our cast of predictions for tonight as well. Uh, we'll start off, though, with last Friday's predictions. Who got what right? Uh, first game, TK versus TCM, was not a good one for any of our casters. We nope. all got it completely wrong. thought that potentially TK could steal it, and in actual fact, it was TCM. So everyone got that one wrong. Uh, oh, Maven. Yeah, we'll, we'll, address, we'll address what happened on the far right-hand side oh, in, Maven. in a second. Uh, Epsilon played Denial. I don't know why anyone would go with Epsilon in that matchup. That's oh, Maven. just stupid. And then OG played Orbit. And for some reason, Owen. Maven... Owen. Oh, sorry, Owen. Um, played Orbit. For some reason, Maven went with Orbit on that one. And then oh, the Maven. final game, Envious played ISO, and which Envy came out. Now, that gives uh, the lead tied between myself, Pucket, and Mr. X at 26 points each. And then... I mean, Maven has 19 points. You can't really fault him because he's so far behind that he has to kind of pick the opposite team just to see. No, him. no, no. You have to just pick the smart teams. He's trying to. He was trying to close the gap. He just made the gap even bigger. What? <laughs> like wh wh what? I, I mean, look, look at it. Maven. it it's 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 not it's not a good. I mean, Maven to get to get four wrong, I think, is actually harder than getting four right. That's our first 0-4 in all of Season 3 predictions. No one, no caster has gone 0-4 in a day. In, in baseball, that's a golden sombrero, striking out four times at the plate. That's a, Maven. a golden sombrero. Yeah, platinum is five. Oh, um, wow. If there were five matches, Maven probably would have gotten <laughs> yeah, four wrong. Yeah, got five wrong. <laughs> uh, but, but bless his heart, he is, uh, he's definitely struggling in, in the predictions. Uh, he should probably pay more attention to the Pro League games when he casts them, but still. I love Maven. Yeah, we all, we all, to be honest, Maven is honestly one of the greatest human beings Maven. to ever exist, but not very good at predicting video games. Nope. But tonight's predictions, let's see what Lord Maven has gone with this evening. And oh my God, he's only gone and gone with Epsilon versus FaZe. So you can expect to see everyone else go up one and Maven <laughs> to most likely go down one. I mean, he said he's picking Epsilon from here on out until they win. So I'm assuming he'll predict them to win a match and then lose the next rest of the season so far, <laughs> um, going one and 21. But he agreed with you on Envy. Uh, I mean, you know, Envy versus TK. I feel that's a given. Yeah, I would that's say so. a, that's a, such a safe bet, and that, that's something you're going to see. But myself, uh, Puckett, and Matt, pretty much playing the safe options. No one wants to be the one to exactly. to fall one behind. And there is actually going to be a game sometime this week where myself. Puckett and Matt all actually disagree with different games. Is it phase, so, is it phase envy? I think I think it's Thursday's no, sorry. Is it Tuesday, Wednesday's games? I thought it was Thursday. I don't think there were any games Thursday, are there? Anyway, that's beside the point. Anyway. Um, yeah. Either way. Y'all are chickens. We're all, Just we're, someone we're, pick someone different. Be like Maven. I mean, Maven Maven went ISO versus Optic Nation. I still don't even know who that fourth is. You you you're picking a, a team who have three players. Most likely result at the end of this evening is everyone has 30 points and Maven has 21 points. Out of Most likely scenario. Out of these matches, which one can you see you being wrong on? Orbit Elevate? Orbit. Yeah, most likely. And that's the one that... Yeah. See, if I was Maven and I'm trying to recover, that's the game that I, I change up on. Right. 
You know, that, that's the game where I'm like, all right, maybe Orbit's still against the Elevate. That's, that's the most likely game to go against the, the grain, so to speak. But Maven has, uh, has other ideas, bless his heart. Anyway, Maven for now, love. quick commercial break. When we return, we're going to go over all things Vulcan for this evening's probably games. Hopefully help you guys out on the website. Be right back. <laughs> 